दिस वीडियो इज क्रिएटेड बाय जागृत क्रिएशन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर रीडिंग फॉर सिंगल एंट्री कन्वर्जन मेथड जनरल इट इज यूजफुल टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर रीडिंग फॉर सी आई पीसीसी इंटर सी ए बी कॉम एफ आई बी कॉम इन पर्टिकुलर एंड प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज लाइक सी एस एग्जीक्यूटिव आई सी डब्ल्यू एटसेट्रा दिस वीडियो इज ऑल्सो यूजफुल टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर रीडिंग फॉर इलेवन कॉमर्स हुज गॉड सिंगल एंट्री कन्वर्जन मेथड इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस This is a basic sum, so it is useful to the students of 11th standard. So just observe the sum on the screen, which I intend to solve. Shri Kesh Kalabi keeps his accounts by single entry system. Prepare final accounts for the year or ending or ended on 31st of December 2016 from the details given. These are the opening balances and closing balances are given to you. Plant stock, debtors, bills receivable, creditors unpaid, sundry expenses, cash and bank balance combined are given to you. Transactions during the year, cash purchases, cash sale, cash received from debtors, cash paid to creditors, cash deposited in the bank, withdrawn from bank, drawings from bank for sundry expenses means cash withdrawn from bank, sundry expenses paid in cash, total sales, closing cash balance. So your cash and bank balance closing twenty seven thousand, closing cash balance is six thousand. So you can find out the bank balance that I will do after a couple of minutes. Bills receivable of four thousand one hundred is endorsed. Was dishonored on the date of maturity. Plant was purchased on one ten two thousand sixteen. So plant is purchased on one ten two thousand sixteen by check. Okay, fine. But what amount? For that you should find out the difference between fifty eight thousand and eighty seven thousand six hundred. So plant of fifty eight thousand has reason increased to eighty seven thousand six hundred. The difference between the two, the difference between these two is known as purchase of plant, and the payment for that is made by check. Calculate depreciation on plant at ten percent. So on opening balance you are required to calculate depreciation for the whole year and the plant purchased on which you are required to calculate depreciation from first of October to thirty first of December. That's for three months. Make a provision for branded reserve on debtors annual rent of shop outstanding rupees seven hundred. So these are the adjustments given to you. Now for the purpose of solving the sum, I will prepare all necessary accounts wherein I am going to write down the opening and closing balances given. These transactions also will be recorded. Missing information will be found. Let me start with drawing all those accounts. Before that, just notice one thing as I told to you. Cash and bank balance combined is twenty-seven thousand. From that cash balance, seven thousand six thousand is deducted. You can have the bank balance in this fashion. This is an information that has been splitted into cash and bank balance. Now I prepare the various accounts for the purpose of solving the sum. Look at the various accounts that I prepare. Balance sheet, opening balance sheet is prepared. Bills receivable, debtors, creditors, bank account, cash account. Cash and bank account are prepared separately. Expense account, trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. Now I am given the opening balances, where in first balance is given to you plant account. So plant opening balance sheet assets are respective account debit side is opening balance. Then you are given stock opening stock, trading account debit side opening balance sheet asset side. Then you are given the balance of debtors, opening balance sheet, asset side, debtors account, debit side, opening balance, bills receivable balance is zero. So in bills receivable account, I write zero. Then comes creditors balance, creditors balance, first effect, creditors account, credit side, opening balance, opening balance sheet, liability side. Then comes unpaid salary. I'm sorry, unpaid sundry expenses. This unpaid expenses of three thousand will be this unpaid expense of three thousand will be transferred to the credit side of expense account. And when the expenses will be paid automatically, the three thousand unpaid gets paid. So this unpaid salary expense, unpaid sundry expense, three thousand will be transferred to expense account. For that adjustment entry is 
unpaid expense account debit to expense account credit and this unpaid expense will appear opening balance sheet liability side. So it is transferred to the expense account. What is the adjustment entry unpaid expense account debit to expense account credit and its second effect is on the opening balance sheet liability side. Now cash and bank balance 47,000 I write it in the opening balance sheet and this I write in the inner column from this I will remove the cash balance and I will, I will remove the bank balance. This is the cash and bank balance combined I write in the 47,000. It will be bifurcated what is the cash balance and what is the bank balance. So for bifurcation purpose I write in the inner column in this fashion. Now 27,000 I am sorry closing balance of plant, plant account credit closing balance sheet asset side. Then comes closing stock, trading account credit side, closing balance sheet asset side. Then comes debtors closing balance is not available. Bills receivable, bills receivable account credit side, closing balance. And closing balance sheet asset side. Then comes unpaid expense, expense account debit to unpaid expense account credit. Before that you are given the credit balance. 48,000, closing balance sheet liability side and credit is account debit side, closing balance, unpaid expense, journal entry, unpaid is a liability, expense account debit to unpaid expense account credit, unpaid expense will appear in the closing balance sheet liability side, cash and bank balance in that, bank balance is 21,000, cash balance will be 6,000 will be recorded here at a later stage when it will run. So closing bank balance. Bank account credit side closing balance, balance sheet asset side. Now cash purchases, purchases will be debited to, debited to the trading account and cash account will be credited for that. Cash sales, cash account debit to sales trading account credit. I'm sorry, cash received from cash sales is not given, I'm required to find out. Cash received from debtors, cash account debit to debtors account credit. Cash paid to creditors, creditors account debit to cash account, cash deposited in the bank, bank account debit to cash account, contra entry style, drawings from bank for sundry expenses, cash account debit to bank account credit, sundry expenses paid in cash, expense account debit to cash account. So when these expenses are paid 33,000, this 3,000 automatically gets paid. So expenses for the year out of this 33,000 is just 30,000. Plus unpaid expenses 1,400 will be added. So 30,000 plus 1,400, 31,400 will be transferred to profit and loss account when I shall close this expense account. Total sales, I write to the credit side of trading account. From that cash sales will be deducted after being bound out. Closing cash balance. Cash account credit side closing balance, balance sheet asset side. Now I have recorded all the transactions. Bills receivable 4100 endorsed to creditors, creditors account debit to bills receivable account credit. And that is dishonored, the entry for dishonor is debtors account debit to creditors account credit. Now plant were purchased for on 110-2016 by check, I already prepared plant account. So total of credit minus total of debit means purchases during the year and the payment is made by bank. So plant account debit to bank account credit. So bank account is credited with the plant purchased. This is how plant account gets closed. Now you are given adjustments, calculate depreciation on plant. On opening balance, the depreciation will be calculated for the whole year, 58,000 into 10% and additional purchases, 29,600 on which you are required to provide depreciation for 3 months, that is from 110, 2016 to 31st of December 2016. So 29,600 into 10% into 3 by 12. So this is the total depreciation deducted from plan and debited to profit and loss account. This is how depreciation adjustment is taken care of. Make a provision for bad debt is but I don't have the closing balance of bad debt is right now. 
So I will take care of it later on. Annual rent, shop rent, outselling 7,000. Rent is an expense. Debit into profit and loss account. And it will appear on the liability side of the balance sheet. So profit and loss account debit, outstanding rent, balance sheet liability side. Now only one adjustment left, provide for better reserve on debtors, but I don't have the closing balance of debtors. Now look at debtors account. Opening balance is given to you. Credit sale is not there. Closing balance is not there. Bills receivable receipt from debtors is also not there. So there are credit sales, bills receivable, closing bills, all these things, three things are missing. So don't try to close debtors account at the first instance. Close debtors account at last because three, three items are missing. Okay, close other accounts. So you can close bills receivable account because only one item is missing. So remember, debtors account cannot be closed. You can close bills receivable account one. Okay. If you close this creditors account, you can find out the credit purchases straight away. If you close this bank account, you can find out the opening balance of bank. And from this opening balance of bank, 47,000 minus opening balance, you will get the cash balance. And after getting this cash balance in this fashion, you can find out the cash sales. So far as expense account is concerned, that is to be closed and transferred to profit and loss account straight where there is no more trouble. Even you can close, total sales is given, cash, cash sales is given to you. You can find out the cash credit purchases from creditors account and after that you can close this trading account too. You can close, you have to close, close, close profit and loss account at last. Now after explaining in this fashion, let me start. First I close. Bills receivable account, total of credits are 8,000. Bills receivable, received from debtors. So bills receivable account debit to debtors account credit. Now in debtors account, two things are missing, credit sales and closing balance of debtors. I can find out the credit sales in what manner? From total sales, I will deduct the cash sales and I will get the credit sale. That will be recorded in debtors account and then I can find out the closing balance of debtors. So I Keep debtors account still till pending. Now I close this creditors account and find the credit purchases. So balancing figure total of debits at 75,100 minus 44,100. So you'll get the credit purchases that will go to the debit side of trading account 31,000 in this fashion. After that you can close this expense account. Total of debit, total of credit, minus total of credit, you will get the missing number that will be debited to profit and loss account. See, 3000 was the outstanding expenses. 33,000 paid. In that, 3000 gets paid. So, 30,000 paid for the current year. 1,400 is outstanding at the end of the year. So, 31,400 will be the difference that will be debited to profit and loss account. This is how expense account is closed. You can also close this trading account because credit purchase is already found out and that gross profit you can transfer to the credit side of profit and loss account. Still, I cannot close this business account. Now, after transferring this gross profit to the credit side of profit and loss account, now I am given combined balance this 47,000, 47,000. I want to find out the element of cash balance and element of bank balance. So for that, what I do, total of credit minus this 27,000, I will get the opening bank balance. This opening bank balance will go to the opening balance sheet in the inner column, 47,000 is the total of it. So 47,000 minus 33,300, you will get the cash balance. So this cash balance will be recorded here as opening balance. The total of these two makes 47,000. So I have found out the opening cash balance that is recorded here, the total of these two is 47,000. This is how it is bifurcated. Now I can find out the cash sales from this account. So total of credit side. But before that I can find out also opening capital. So total of assets minus total of liability, opening capital balance that is recorded in the opening balance sheet in the inner column because profit is required to be added. Now you can close cash account and find out cash sales. From this total sales, 1,77,000 minus cash sales, you will get the credit sales. 
this credit cell is debited to debtor's account. So this credit cell and cash cells both together are already credited to the trading account credit side. Now I can close debtor's account and find the closing balance of debtors. That will be transferred in the inner column of the balance sheet asset side. On the basis of this balance, I can provide for banditism at the rate of 5%. So, one like 18,000 5% banditism deducted from debtors and debited to profit and loss account. Now I can find out net profit. So, total of credit minus total of this debit, I'll get the net profit. That net profit will be added to the capital. So, you will get the closing balance of capital and now you can tally the balance sheet. Total of assets and liabilities 2 lakh 59,535. So, 2 lakh 59,535 is the total of my balance sheet. Here I have already prepared one plant account, plant account that I have already demonstrated. So this is how all these accounts are prepared, closed and missing information is found out and the final accounts as required are prepared. I have tried to explain you this some. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.